Humans are very inquisitive. They like to have good answers to good questions. And um, uh, like, uh, you know, we are, where we come from. Uh, what are what is this universe? What are those those forces? And we, we need to understand those things. And uh, answers were given to us, but those answers are uh, there's something missing. There's something missing. It's not clear. Uh, there's uh, uh, let's talk about the universe, for example. The vision, the general vision is there is this void in which you have planets and stars and this is the general vision uh, but the, the problem with this is uh, what is the void? void? void means nothing and so how come nothing would exist? how come the base the substance of the universe, the void, would be nothing? the problem is when you have nothing it's not a thing, you know? <laughs> nothing is not a thing uh, it's like uh, Parmenides uh, said a uh, long time ago, to be is, not to be is not. So the void means not to be, there is nothing, so it cannot be. So that's, that's the point here. So uh, uh, it, there is a paradox in this conception and it doesn't make sense. So rather what we find and what would be more logical is that what exists, whatever it is, creates its own space. Space and matter, they should not be uh, separated. It's like information and matter. You cannot separate information from matter. You need matter to code the information. You cannot have one without the other. And it looks like space and matter is the same thing. You cannot have space without matter both go together what exists brings its own space you cannot add space alone I mean void because nothingness means nothing there is nothing so nothing cannot exist because it's nothing so if you follow me you have to have something and the void is made of something so that's what we have to understand it looks like what exists creates its own space and you should have infinity in that context because there is be no void anywhere because void is a, is a contradiction by itself so that brings a new concept that uh, the, the universe is made of matter everywhere a different density and all of this matter creates its own space so a denser matter you have more space and that's why you have this ocean of uh, what we call we used to call ether a long time ago that is uh, under pressure and goes into denser body in a flow a concentric flow and that drags everything into planets and stars and galaxies and that's why we have this concentric movement that's what we call gravity is in fact the uh, effect of this flow dragging everything in its path so that's uh, that's the yin yang universe for you that's the, the, the beginning of this concept and uh, you can find more uh, on the um, website theyinyanguniverse.com